guys, Sin Chao. My name is Alex. I've been living and teaching in Hanoi, Vietnam for the past eight months, and today I'll be taking you around to show you what my daily life in Hanoi is like. So it's about 9 a.m. right now. I'm on my rooftop currently, about to head to a yoga class at my normal studio. So I'll take you guys along for that, and also open it up for any questions and leave my Instagram handle. Thanks. Hey guys, so everyone in the city here drives a motorbike to get around, as you probably have already seen, and it's definitely an easy way to get from one place to another. Um, it's pretty cheap. I pay about $30 a month to pay for my bike, but you need to remember to wear a mask as well because the pollution is pretty bad. So here is fellow ITA alumni Emma driving away on her bike. Bye! Okay, so I'll give you a tour of our house. This is where we park our bikes going into the living room. I live in a shared house with seven other people that I actually all met through the TEFL course that we did in Hanoi. Moving into the kitchen, um, the house came fully furnished with everything that you would need to cook, utensils, plates, and everything. Um, it was very easy to move in this way, and we actually have an elevator, which is very nice. Okay, so now we're headed into my bedroom. I have clearly a lot of closet space, a large western bed, and even a great view of Hanoi. It's also very easy to find things to decorate your room here. Okay, so I've just started work for the day. I work at a kindergarten from 2 to 4.30 every day, Monday through Friday, teaching 18 month olds to six year olds. And it's really fun, I like it a lot. So I've just finished teaching at my kindergarten. I had an hour long break to have a coffee before I start my next class at a center that I teach at Monday through Thursday for an hour and a half. And these are some of my students. Say hello. Hi, this is my amazing TA. Hey. Hello. Okay, so I just got back from a full day of teaching and I wanted to answer some questions before I leave again. Mostly about my jobs and how I found them. So everything you do here can definitely be last minute. It's very easy to find a job and very easy to find a place to live. So the best way to do this is Facebook. Use the Facebook groups, which I'll add the names here, but if you join them, you can say, I want to live here, I want this many bedrooms, I want this price, and you'll be looking at places the next day. You can do the same for a job. So I want to teach this age, I want to sign a contract for six months, or I'm not interested in signing a contract, I want to work in the morning, I want to work in the evening. It's all up to you, so you kind of decide and make your schedule around that. Okay, so like I said, it's pretty easy to find a job. You definitely can plan on finding one in a matter of days, um, and it kind of is what you make it. So whether you wanna do kindergarten to adults, you wanna work public school, private school, anything you want, um, it's all really available right now and pretty easy to find. And a common salary is about $20 an hour. So you can plan on that for when you're budgeting. Okay, so now we're off to try a new Mexican restaurant that's opening in the Old Quarter, which if you've been to Hanoi, this is definitely where you've stayed before. Hey guys, so I wanted to end out the day by answering the rest of your questions. Um, a lot of people asked, did I have any experience before this? And the answer is no, I got all of my teaching experience during the TEFL course that I took through ITA here in Hanoi. And okay, so as far as finding a job, um, it definitely is a little bit easier if you do have a bachelor's degree. A lot of people will ask to see that. But in the case that you don't have one, you can still definitely find a job here and it is very possible to be teaching without one. Okay, so as far as driving a motorbike goes, I did learn how to drive a motorbike in Asia two years ago. So I did learn before I came to Hanoi, 
But I do think it's very easy to learn if you go a little bit outside the city and it's definitely useful and I would recommend it. When okay, so as far as choosing a city in Vietnam, I actually came to Hanoi two years ago and fell in love with it. So I decided to come back here and there are a lot of teaching jobs available. But it also is nice to look into other places like Da Nang where you can live by the beach or going to a smaller province. Okay, so to answer this question, I did come to Hanoi alone. I did not know anyone, but I definitely decided to do the TEFL course in person in Hanoi to adjust and make friends before I started teaching. Lastly, I wanted to talk about visas because it's kind of confusing. If you want to sign a contract and you know that before you get here, you can get a three-month visa to adjust to life in Hanoi and then sign a six-month to a year-long contract where you can get a work permit and business visa through your school with a residency card. If you decide that you want the freedom to leave whenever you want and you don't want to sign a contract, I highly recommend getting the year-long visa so that you don't have to leave every three months like I've had to do. But it really is your choice. Three-month visas are always an option if you're not sure how long you're going to be here. Hey guys, so that's it for me. Um, I hope this was super helpful, but if I didn't get to any of your questions, I'll leave my Instagram handle here below and you can feel free to DM me with any questions that you have and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. So thanks.